Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to another question of the day. In these videos, I answer your questions that you leave me on the Geekanoids forums. Now, if you want to leave me a new question, there is a link to the Geekanoids forums in the video description. Now, on with today's question, which comes from Ryan Christopher Thornton. What are your thoughts on Macintosh? Now, you spelt Macintosh with a C and a K in the middle, so I'm assuming, and Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm assuming you're referring to Hackintosh, which is a computer that's built up of parts provided by different manufacturers that you can then install Mac OS X on. So rather than buy an Apple computer from Apple, you're building your own computer capable of running Apple's operating system. Assuming I've got your question correct, I've got mixed feelings about it. You pay a premium for an Apple product, and you pay that premium for uh, many reasons, but the reasons I pay that premium are fantastic design, brilliant build quality, superb customer service, and the warranty, and of course, how the operating system works with that hardware. That's why I buy Apple products, and that's why I don't mind buying, uh, buying and paying that premium, because the extra couple of hundred pounds that I pay over and above what I would for a Windows-based PC, uh, buys me that peace of mind that I know that the computer's gonna last a long time. Generally, in my experience, Apple computers have a little bit more longevity than their Windows-based counterparts. I also know that my operating system is going to be nice and stable. And I also know that if something does go wrong, and yes, things go wrong with Apple Mac computers, I know that I can ring up Apple, and from past experience, they sort it out so quickly, so professionally, and I've got somebody I can talk to when I've got a problem, and they rectify the problem very, very well. So that's why I actually buy that into this particular platform, and that's why it's my chosen platform to use in my everyday work. I want to be creating the, the uh, videos that I share with you guys and the other things as well. I do websites, I do some graphic design, uh, I do writing, etc. And I want to be able to do that with the minimum of fuss. So if you build a computer out of other components and you get Mac OS X running on it, for the most part, it will probably be a fairly stable system. When you come to updating the software, you have to do a little bit of tinkering to get that software running properly. You can only use certain components because certain drivers are only available for Mac OS X for those components. So you have to be quite careful in your product selection. Now let's say you are using your Hackintosh as a production computer, using it for your everyday work, it earns you money, then you do a software update and something breaks. That's not gonna be supported by Apple. It's definitely not gonna be supported by the manufacturers you purchased those particular components from because they're not saying that they work with the Mac OS X operating system. So you're in this sort of situation that you have to then research and fix the problem yourself. Now, if you're using it for a hobby and it's your interest, then I say go for it. It can be very, very rewarding. It can, of course, save you money. But if you rely on that machine for your work, then for me, it's a no-go area. I just wouldn't go there. That's just my opinion on it, and I just wouldn't waste my time on it. But it does have its place, and I've seen some fantastic Hackintosh computers that far outperform their Apple counterparts. So there is a place for it, and I commend anyone that puts one together and it works perfectly for many, many years. I give you a big thumbs up, I really do, because I think it is a really good achievement. So that's it, that's my opinion. You asked for it, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Please also hit like on this video and share a link to it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you wanna to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.